Good evening, and thanks for joining us. It has been less than a week since a random triple stabbing in Chinatown sent shockwaves across B.C. Now the Premier has launched an investigation into why the suspect was out from a forensic psychiatric facility. The community is planning its next festival, and security will be ramped up. CTV's Angela Zhang joins us now outside the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden with more. Angela? Mi Jung, the triple stabbing happened right across the street from me over there, but now the classical Chinese garden is focused on this upcoming event, and this is all coming together as the suspect made a brief court appearance today. 64-year-old Blair Evan Donnelly appeared via video at his bail hearing. He had a brief outburst while the Crown prosecutor was laying out information. Donnelly has been charged with three counts of aggravated assault. The matter has been put over to the end of the month. The random attack happened Sunday near the stage of the Light Up Chinatown Festival, just as the event was wrapping up. There was some confusion and then about moments later we just heard some rumblings about some people getting scabbed. So everything was handled really well. Um, the police were on top of it. Lorraine Lowe was just steps away when it happened. It's been top of mind as she is now planning the upcoming mid-autumn festival at the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden. We've really stepped up uh, security and we are in a gated um, and secured premises here. So I think it's important to invite everybody to come back down and you know what, not be afraid and you know, to celebrate Chinatown. Message of reassurance, not just for visitors, but those who live in the community. Well, we have a lot of seniors that come, they live in the neighborhood and, and, and come and, uh, to Chinatown every day. It's, it's their living room, it's their, their homes. The Chinatown BIA says businesses are getting messages of support. It's really heartwarming that, uh, you know, we've had this outpouring of, uh, of support to the, neighbor, the neighborhood, the, the businesses, uh, and the, and the communities. There's obviously a, a silver lining in all of this. It always brings the community back together and it brings us closer and more resilient. And organizers of the Autumn Moon Festival say the biggest difference is this will be a registered ticketed event. As for Donnelly, he was out on a day pass when the stabbing happened and now an independent investigator has been appointed. That is former police chief Bob Rich. He will be looking into exactly how Donnelly was able to be out here without supervision. Mi Jung. Thank you, Angela.